Round number one is in the books from the Wrangler National Finals. I'm Jeff Marn. Round number one update goes. It didn't take long for history to be made in the bareback riding. Richmond champion took a 91.5, the highest marked ride in any Wrangler National Finals in round number one, to put himself $26,000 richer. In the world standings, it's Clayton Bigelow in the bareback riding, still holding that number one position with over $212,000 in earnings. Steer wrestling. 3.6, Dakota Eldridge, the Nevada man, is the winner of round number one. Bridger Chambers, though, the Montana man who was last year's reserve world champion, put over $18,000 and a second and third split. In the world standings in the steer wrestling, Ty Erickson, the Montana man from Helena, still holds the number one position with $156,000 in earnings. Team roping, Tyler Wade, Cole Davison, 4.0 in last night's performance will win them round number one. In the world standings in the heading, it's Clay Smith. And the world standings in the healing, it's Junior Negata will hold the number one position going into round number two. In the saddle bronc riding, it's Zeke Thurston, 88-point marking on last night's Mo Better Rodeos, Sioux City, to earn him his victory. The world champion is on pace for another world championship. The number one position in the saddle bronc riding is rider right with over 234,000. Our Montana man Chase Brooks did hold the number fourth position down last night with an 86 point marking and earned himself over $7,000. In the tie down roping, Shane Hanchy, 7.6 for the victory. But it's big news from Montana. Haven Medjid, very first appearance at the Wrangler National Finals, put an effort for third place in over $15,000, which now holds him the number one position in the world standings with over $145,000. In the barrel racing, it's Emily Miller, 13.63 in last night's performance. But the world standings hold Lisa Lockhart, the former Montana cowgirl, with over $177,000 in earnings. In the bull riding, it was Stetson Wright making his first victory lap at the Thomas & Mack Center with a 92.5 ride on 4L and Diamond S rodeos, Monty Walsh. That victory right there will put him in the number two position right now in the world standings right behind the five-time world champion Sage Kinsey with over $262,000 in earnings. Stick around. We've got a lot more coming up for more rodeo updates right here.